Hi, I'm Raf, and in this video, we're going to be solving the level one challenge from Stellar Quest called Change Trust. On Stellar, things work a little bit differently. You can't hold an asset that you don't believe in. So the first thing you need to do is establish trust between you and the creator of that token or the issuing account. Once you've created this trust line, then you can hold the asset. So in this challenge, you're going to have to establish a trust line between the Quest account and the asset from a separate account. Once you're on the page, we're going to be working on the Stellar Lab side. And on the Quest pair on the right, let's go ahead and fund this key pair. And this is going to give us 10,000 XLM on the on the testnet. All right, so let's go and copy, public, copy, copy our public key. And let's go and copy our secret key. Heading over to the lab, let's go and generate another key pair because we're going to have to trust another account. All right, so let's go and copy this public and the secret key. We don't really need the secret key, but heck, let's document it. Now let's go and create this account on the testnet. Bam. All right, let's go over to build transaction. The account that we're uh, that we're creating trust from is our Quest wallet. So this is the one that wants to trust someone else. Let's go grab our next sequence number. Uh, we can leave the base feed and the memo and the time bounds as it is. And then the operation type is going to be uh, change trust. We're going to be trusting an account that's created an asset called RAF and that only has four letters. So we can set it to alpha, men, alpha numerical four. Yes, it is going to be called RAF. And then this account that's potentially created the RAF token is the second public key. So ultimately what we're saying here is we're saying, hey, if this account ever creates a token called RAF, we trust it. And we want to potentially hold it. Under the trust limit, you can set the maximum amount of this token you want to be able to hold in this wallet. This is how much you trust the um, this this issuer. In this case, we're just going to leave it blank, and that's going to set it to the max amount. Down here, we see the XCR. Let's go and sign it. And let's go add the secret key of our Quest account to prove that we own it. And here the transaction is signed. And let's submit it in the transaction submitter and submit it to the network. And there you go. If this account ever creates an asset called a ref, we trust that it exists. We trust, we trust and we want to hold it. Hope that helps.